Now I've been told it's rude to eat on camera. I've been told it's rude to smoke on camera. I've been told it's basically rude to do anything on camera. And so, I don't care. I'm just gonna eat this purple mambin. And then I'll introduce this video in just a second. Welcome back. So, a few weeks ago, somebody spotted something terrible in my potting area. Now, it was a couple of weeks, I don't know, um, can't remember which video it was, but somebody said, hey Dave, might wanna hide the miracle grow before you do gardening videos. Ah, you caught me. I'm doing something really bad. I'm an organic permaculture sort of a guy. What am I doing with a box of blue crystals? Everything is just gonna unwind, right? I mean, you caught me. Basically, next thing you know, you know, I'm gonna be poisoning things, maybe putting plastic in the ocean, harpooning whales. I'll be doing the march for Monsanto. I mean, David, man, he's a shill. He's a shill for Scots, dude. He's like, he's like, he eats miracle Grow. He, he probably eats it because they pay him to because he's addicted to it. But no, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, no, no. So the deal is the reason I have some miracle Grow is because I was planning an experiment. This is how we do science. So I bought some miracle Grow, and I decided to test it side by side with urine. Now urine is a good fertilizer. It's got a lot of nitrogen in it. It's got a lot of micronutrients because whatever you eat gets passed through. You know, whatever your body can't use goes through. I think I have some purple mom and still in my teeth. Anyhow, if that's the case, right? We know that urine is a good fertilizer. If that's the case and it's a high nutrient solution, why not test it alongside a known high nutrient chemical solution, right? Miracle Grow. So for the last couple of weeks, I used a couple of garden beds, three or four, uh, for urine fertilizing, and then in uh, three or four more beds, I'm using miracle Grow. So we've kind of got a side-by-side -side thing going on. I'm not really that concerned about what's in miracle Grow. It's basically um, just elements. I mean, I don't know how, I mean, it's not organic, right? Because it's not coming from humus or whatever, but I'm not afraid I'm gonna die from miracle Grow. It's just not my preferred thing. I'm an organic guy. But I wanted to do a test side-by-side -side so I could say, does this really work? What really works? And, and how do they produce? It's not a particularly scientific test because I've amended some of the beds with biochar and some of them have this and that and seaweed and they've got different crops in them. But it'll give us a rough idea if urine and miracle Grow work under kind of rough and ready conditions. Which one is going to do better? So let's take a look at the beds so far. This is a weedy little garden that I have to actually weed because it's weedy. But, okay, the ones that have miracle Grow, I use this very scientific marker this is, this is a can with holes punched in the bottom because I used it for a little pot. Because I recycle all kinds of things. Because I'm a good person. So, this pepper, and these peppers in here, have been given miracle Grow at the recommended application rate once a week. These over here, interestingly, the parsley almost completely died on us. I don't know why if we divided it too thinly or what, but that's fine. The onions and the basil will do well. Look at this. This is miracle Grow here. So you can see, they look pretty good. And this is, you know, things were kind of yellow when we put them in, but now the new growth is starting to green up and look good. The onions, I can't tell the difference on, but it's only been two weeks and two applications. This one here is a pepper that came back from last year, and it's looking pretty nice. Over in this bed, where I put in seaweed mulch, this pumpkin has been fed with urine and so has this parsley here. Interestingly, this pepper has been too, but it doesn't look all that hot. If you go up here, this is where we put down a bunch of fresh seaweed, and look at the, look at how sad these peppers look in the seaweed. This time, I think I definitely got them too much salt. Look at that. Yeah, that's not happy. This is why we do things. It's interesting, uh, I did this with tomatoes, and it didn't matter. A couple other crops, just honestly didn't seem to care about the seaweed. But this seaweed, I didn't rinse at all. I just threw it in here and then I planted peppers into it. They don't like that. So like I said, it's not a very scientific test. This bed of sweet potatoes here, which I had been feeding with urine some time ago and then had stopped, um, 
I started giving them miracle Grow, and they look very happy. They seem to be enjoying it. This bed over here is fed with urine, and you can see, look at the new growth, greening up here just like it did with the miracle Grow in the other beds. So we've got, uh, at this point, I can't really see that big a difference. Over here is basil that has been fed with urine. Look at the new growth. It's nice and green. Nice and green new growth. You could see the old growth. Look at how yellow that is. It's just starting to put on new growth. And the new growth is rich and green. Let's take a look at the other potato bed, which was fed with urine, as opposed to the miracle Grow bed we just saw. This bed, which is getting closer to maturity, uh, has been fed with urine, and you can see it looks very happy. Foliar feeding is like magic. Whether it's urine or miracle Grow or compost tea or whatever else, foliar feeding gets into those plants quickly and it doesn't require the long-term feeding of the soil. If you live in some place like Florida where you've got sand, foliar feeding is the bomb. I mean, you could feed your plants and the stuff does leach through the ground, but whatever's hitting these leaves, plants have the ability to absorb nutrients through their leaves. These have been fed with urine. They look very nice. And uh, the application rate on the urine is a half a liter to two gallons of water. Half a liter of urine to two gallons of water. So whatever that works out to in freedom units exactly. Um, it's looking pretty good. Uh, both, we don't have really a, I can't say which is better at this point, which is kind of cool. So we'll find out. This is miracle Grow. This is urine. Basically, Scots could probably just crystallize some urine and sell it. That would be a very good profit motive. And as a representative of Scots, I don't rec... No, 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 I'm not. I'm not a representative of Scots. I have nothing to do with them. As a matter of fact, they've done some kind of bad things in their collective corporate life. So, I'm not really a fan. But anyhow, yeah, we are going to do a side-by-side. -side. We are doing science. Sometimes I think it just makes sense to take your organic presuppositions and your ideas and test them alongside of chemical ideas and we'll see. We'll just see how it goes. So that's it for today. Thanks for joining me. I hope you find these kind of experiments useful and not too terrifying. No, I haven't sold out. I've just bought in, man. No, I'm not. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Really, don't freak out. We're going to just see how this goes and I'm, I'm rooting on urine, man, because it's organic. Anyhow, catch you next time. Be sure to check out the Compost Your Enemies t-shirts available from Aardvark Tees. And until next time, may your thumbs always be green. I went to see David, David the Good. We listened to Portis Head. And drank spiced rum He threw me off the ramp And broke my foot And broke my wheelchair All in good fun Yeah. Uh, betraying my principles onto YouTube. So which is better? PPO or the M grow. Time to do some science and see how the plants grow. No matter what you use, you know they're both freaky. I'm sharing my test on YouTube, cause I ain't sneaky. Maybe it's wrong, and you should write my dad. Tell him you messed up with David the Bad But you know he'll laugh when he goes to read Cause he's always throwing around that nasty weed and feed Oh Davy G, I can't believe you'd even try Using Scott's poison on your beds, I'm gonna cry YouTube commenter, don't, don't you attack me just yet I'm doing science, why don't you take a bet On the urine or the miracle grow, which is gonna win I'm doing it for science, even if it's a sin Huh, that's what I'm talking about a little bit of science in the garden. Chemicals versus organic. Sort of like east side versus west side, but, but like in gardens. Crazy. This is a real beef we got going here. 
Yeah. Yeah.